guys, I'm back here for vlog 3. Just got back from Stonehouse recording and taking pictures of birds. So the videos and photos are just important into Lightroom right now, so it will be a great time to chat to you guys about the different production techniques I've used and what I've learned so far from the module. So filming has definitely been interesting to say the least. Not only have I spent hours sat around in mud, wading through flooded fields and literally lying in bird crap, I've been playing around with all the different frame rates using 25 frames per second to get that motion blur look, but mainly focusing on 100 frames per second to get that super slow motion. I have toyed around with different camera movements, framing and angles to create visually stunning and engaging imagery for cutaways and b-roll. I've added music to change the colour of the footage that I've created in order to create different types of moods and feelings. Just check out this quick clip of cowboy cormorants that I created earlier this week. Yeehaw! That was one hell of a tongue twister, wasn't it? <laughs> I've definitely learned a lot from this moving image module, from a technical and storytelling point of view. From how the colours, framing and camera angle can be used to portray a certain type of mood or meaning, to just the basics of how to set up the correct frame rate and choose the correct tools for the job. Whilst also learning how to edit correctly and how to export in the right settings. Whilst these are all important lessons, filming this short film has taught me probably the number one lesson for wildlife filmmaking. And that is research, determination, and tons of patience. <coughs> Meow, yes. Eventually it pays off. Just look at this footage. I managed to get a kingfisher. I'm bloody chuffed. But anyway, <laughs> cheers for watching. See you later.